Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get into a few big things. The first one, Aletta, looks like it's forming not on the Atlantic side, so I always want to be clear right off the bat with you, uh, but on the uh, eastern Pacific side, Aletta looks like it's forming. First day of the hurricane season on the eastern Pacific side. We'll keep an eye on our first tropical wave that should be coming off pretty soon on the Atlantic side by the coast of Africa. They don't really develop uh, out there this uh, time of year, but I also want to get into an earthquake near Puerto Rico and the Dominican in Republic and some really poor air quality. Uh, it has been so dry out there. We've had the wildfires around. I want to show you that in a second. So I uh, try to find some good news in the forecast too. So let me start with this map. This is the outlook for June and it shows that in the green shading you're seeing here and the blue shading that would be above average rain. I've been talking about this for about a month that next month would be wetter. It's usually the wet season for a lot of us, uh, but it should be above average. So we're going to see some extra rain around and right where we need it in spots right across the Caribbean, stretching back to much of Central America. So we're going to see uh, not only uh, the wet season cranking in, but it should in a big way uh, next month, a higher chance of rain above average rain outlook for uh, June. And that is so critical for many of us. We have those water restrictions in place. Uh, we need to get some rain in here, but it may be a little while before we get there. Now, uh, with that said, uh, the air quality is uh, pretty poor out there, and we have the fires where you're seeing this uh, these darker oranges, especially in Central America, low air quality. We've had some of the fires around in parts of the southeastern uh, Caribbean. I've been watching that. A few spots had some welcome rain. Grenada had a couple of showers yesterday, but it's been few and far between. And this has been one of the bad spots stretching from Cuba all the way back toward Belize, Honduras, Guatemala. There has been so much smoke. You see the smoke here? Some of this smoke is getting way up in the atmosphere that it's even being spotted in, in parts of the southeastern U.S. That's how many fires there are down here, how bad the air quality is. That's bringing some hazy conditions all the way back toward Florida, even the northern Bahamas. So again, critical levels. Okay, now let me get to the earthquake. Then we'll get back to the uh, development in the tropics. This happened uh, last night. This was an earthquake just to the north of uh, the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. 5.6 in, in magnitude. So that it is uh, on the moderate side. It was offshore. Uh, the depth, it wasn't too deep either, about six kilometers or four miles. But being offshore, that was, was helpful. There wasn't any tsunami threat out of this. It no reports of a damage, but you may have felt it. And anytime we get a pretty significant earthquake, at least a moderate one, I, I'm watching it to see if we have any sort of earthquake cluster, but I did want to pass that along. Uh, definitely uh, caught my attention uh, yesterday and I was posting about that or rather last night. Now on the Eastern Pacific side, big surge of moisture coming off of uh, Costa Rica and Panama. Water temperatures are very warm. I was talking about that in yesterday's video. The National Hurricane Center out of the U.S. even giving this about a 30% chance of development. That seems about right. Some of the models develop it into a letta. Others do not, so uh, it's kind of it's kind of split right now, which is actually common for a system that hasn't really uh, even uh, uh, found itself at all. You can see just plenty of moisture down here. So I'm going to jump over to the Caribbean in a second, but this here across Central America, and this is later today, Costa Rica, back through Panama, some big areas of rain. Now Guatemala and El Salvador. What would be good news? There's sometimes great news in the tropics with tropical systems that could give us some rain when we need to get some rain. Of course we don't want any damage or anything like that. But by tomorrow, most of the rain still sitting south of Guatemala and El Salvador. Friday, this is Friday. That's when it looks like it may try to develop. Friday will be the day. If I see signs of developing, uh, it developing on Friday, that means it is going to have a high likelihood of just developing even further. Now, as we work our way into Saturday, if this develops, there is a chance that it could spill over some moisture, spill over some rain into parts of Mexico, Guatemala, and right on the edge of El Salvador where we need it, which would keep the core of what could become a tropical storm offshore, but maybe bring us some welcome rain. And then this is on Sunday. Now, this is the American model. It is showing that this does wrap up in a tropical storm, Aletta, and then it kind of uh, just hugs the coastline or stays enough offshore. Uh, but these are tricky systems because it's hard to tell where a system will go until it does develop. And as I mentioned, some of the models are really on and off. European model sometimes has nothing, then sometimes it hints at development. But this is a, a possibility that there could be a tropical storm right in here on Sunday. Then most indications are that if it forms, it'll kind of trek a little bit more off to the west, but we'll see how the rain does. So you can see the core of rain. This is the next four days. So this takes us through today, 
tomorrow, Friday into Saturday. Uh, very tropical rain over here, and we'll see how close it gets to parts of Mexico and Guatemala. And some of the output is uh, hinting at that, where we could get uh, some spots 100 millimeters of rain or four inches. That would be right along the coast. And of course, Costa Rica and Panama, uh, let me know how you're doing uh, with the flooding in your area. That chance of rain stays elevated, and we'll be watching out for the high flood threat. So on the eastern Pacific side, uh, the first name on the list is Aletta. So if that forms, it would be a uh, tropical depression and then tropical storm Aletta, Bud Carlotta after that. On the Atlantic side, the season starts June 1st, and that's a different set of names. Now, as we get into the Atlantic Basin, Atlantic Ocean, Gulf, and the uh, Caribbean, Guyana and Suriname. Let me know how you're doing in Guyana. We've had some rain around, some flooding, Suriname too. And then you get back toward the southern uh, Caribbean. That's where we've seen the buildup of moisture. Could see a couple little showers around parts of the Yucatan of Mexico and Belize, but overall back through Honduras, that rain chance stays low. Now, here's Trinidad and Tobago. Here's Grenada, Guyana, Suriname, Venezuela. Now, you see the high uh, rain totals the next four days, also taking us through Saturday. In Guyana, I'm giving you that heads up. We've had rain already. We're going to see more, and this is even jumping off my chart, where we're going to have a few spots of 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain plus. It will be even higher than that. Could be over 200 millimeters of rain. So early heads up that we could have additional flooding right through the end of the week into the upcoming weekend. Now Trinidad on the flip side, Boy, we look at this uh, rain and we're like, can we at least get some of this rain? Well, it, it, we're, it's going to be so borderline. I was talking about this uh, yesterday. I'm not quite sure. I'll tell you what I know and what I don't know. I'm not quite sure how much of this rain is going to creep in. So I've increased the rain chance a little bit late this week, but it's going to be very close. You see this in here would be over 75 millimeters of some rain. And you see how close it gets to us by the end of the week. But it's really still a wait and see on that. Um, uh, I'll show you that with a model. Let me let me get to that here. You can see the rain in Guyana and Suriname. Spotty shower possible in uh, Puerto Rico. Many of us too dry. Belize, small chance of a shower. There's all that moisture that I was highlighting. Costa Rica and Panama that scoots off into the eastern Pacific. Some showers in Colombia. But watching hit or miss showers like we had in Grenada, St. Lucia, we could get a passing shower. Barbados, we had, a, we had a couple. So we could see a few, but the rain chance up through Antigua and Barbuda, it's not really high. This is by tomorrow, but we could see a a few of these showers trying to move in. This is as we work our way into our Friday. Let me stop it here and you see a lot of the rain, Guyana and Suriname. Some of these showers may break free. I really hope they do. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we need some rain and you can see Saturday, Friday into Saturday, at least some spotty showers around. So We'll see how we do with that. Uh, we need to get some, and right now it's not a super high chance. And then this here is what is trying to form on Saturday. That would be a let a bigger picture. There's some severe weather last night. Once again, back through uh, Florida, watching this system pulling offshore. That will increase the chance of rain for Bermuda. Some rounds of rain and storms moving through uh, Florida. A lot of systems up here, while in between it's kind of dry. We're dry through here. And then uh, over here, where we get to the kind of convergence zone, that's where it's wet and where we're in between clean way too dry with the wildfires, that low air quality. By the time we get into tomorrow, watching over toward Texas, much of the Gulf has been quiet, except for the uh, Western Gulf with some of the rain and storms uh, today. But you can see here this next system lifting in uh, to the middle of the United States and then watching that blob of moisture over here, which will try to wrap up on Friday into a tropical storm on the Eastern Pacific side. Same kind of progressive system, Newfoundland down through Nova Scotia, back through New England. It's been unsettled, kind of spring-like helping uh, kick off the uh, growing season with more rain around. Uh, scattered showers around. This is on our Thursday and into Friday. You can see a few spotty showers watching that next system back to the west that will be getting closer late in the day Friday. Could see a couple showers headed toward uh, New Brunswick and uh, Nova Scotia. So Jamaica, isolated shower and storm for us. Uh, Cayman Islands were mainly dry, but we could see a passing shower over the next three days. You see in Trinidad and Tobago, 20% chance of rain today, 30% chance Thursday, 40% chance Friday. That's not super high, but it does trend up just a touch. I'm hoping Friday and Saturday, some of the moisture from the south could creep in. Barbados, we've had a few showers. Rain chance stays isolated the next few days. Could see a passing shower for us in St. Lucia. 20 to 30% chance across Grenada. We had a shower yesterday. 20 to 30% chance St. Vincent in the Grenadines. And we need some rain. There's so many water restrictions going on right now. Martinique, the rain chance is not too high. 
10 to 20% chance, 20% chance tomorrow in Dominica, 30% chance on Friday, holding at an even 20% chance in Guadeloupe, and an even 30% chance Antigua and Barbuda. This is all isolated. St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, 20 to 30% chance, 10 to 20% chance Anguilla and St. Bart's, 20% chance St. Martin, Seba, and Stasia Plus. So hot, uh, that pattern is definitely back around. If you're dry, uh, you're on the hot side. Isolated storm across uh, Puerto Rico. Passing shower possible, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Pop-up storm possible in the Dominican Republic, 20% chance. And mainly on the dry side across Haiti, rain chance going down uh, to 10% on Friday. Bahamas will watch some of the showers and storms coming out of uh, Florida. Turks and Caicos, most of the action to the north, just a slight chance of a shower. Belize, there is that small chance. I was talking about that a couple minutes ago. Small chance of a shower, but that would be a, at least it's not 0%, but 5 to about 10%. As we get back through Aruba, the rain chance stays uh, stays low. It stays low in Curacao. Again, most of that rain still down to the south and uh, Bonaire, but Guyana, that's where we have a significant flood threat. That's why I showed you the rain totals. Let me know what you're getting and what you're not getting. Put your location uh, down in the uh, comments. Suriname rain chance stays elevated. Cuba, we're in that in-between zone where just an isolated chance of a storm, but Costa Rica and Panama also let me know about the flooding uh, where you are. Honduras, we're watching the wildfires. We are watching tons of smoke out there. Thinking of you with the breathing issues. Same thing in the Yucatan. Rain chance about 20% tomorrow. Northern Venezuela, some spotty showers and thunderstorms. Bermuda, better chance of rain working in tonight into tomorrow. So extreme drought and wildfires with those water restrictions in place, but other areas, the heavier rain, Costa Rica, Panama, Guyana, Suriname, and we're just hoping it kind of creeps up, plus watching what could become Tropical Storm Aleta in the Eastern Pacific. The hurricane season there starts today, starts on the Pacific side, or the Atlantic side, rather, on June 1st. So we are getting there. Plenty to track. I hope you're doing well with some of this extreme weather, especially with these wildfires, the droughts, and the flood. Uh, thinking of you as we go throughout the day, and have a good rest of your day.